to retire Liberal Democrats MEP for Scotland. The European Commission has made an announcement about cloning and new potential rules it wants to, to introduce. What's the European Commission saying? Well, clearly they're saying, first of all, that uh, meat or, or food from animals that have been cloned or indeed their offspring is completely safe and there is no issue whatsoever in terms of uh, cons consumer concerns about the safety of these products. Uh, secondly, it's saying that to try and introduce a, a ban on imported uh, or an import of food from the offspring of cloned animals would be impossible. It can't be done without actually putting the walls out, up around Europe and banning all food from countries that use this technology. Uh, thirdly, it is saying that uh, it intends to try and ban, of course, uh, food from animals that uh, have been cloned, the clones themselves. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see how on earth they propose to do that. Uh, I think finally, the, the, the last part that, that they are suggesting they want to, the, or the last action they want to take, is to introduce a traceability system uh, for the imports of uh, embryos or semen, indeed, from uh, animals that have been cloned. There's a real question mark as to the practical implications of that and the cost implications of that for the farming industry uh, and how that can be achieved. Uh, tomorrow I'm meeting with the Commissioner and I want to press on these two issues with him, one on the practical elements of that and secondly how do you actually ensure that you ban uh, the uh, food from, from animals that have been cloned because it seems to be quite difficult. And when you say it's quite difficult, what, why, what are, the, what are the problems really that is going to make that ban, in your opinion, hard to enforce? Well, clearly there are no uh, traceability uh, in place in the countries that currently use that technology. So how do you know where, where the meat has come from? So I think there are, a se there are, there are serious questions around that. Uh, it's interesting if you look at the Innes family's situation in Scotland, uh, once again under the, these new rules that the Commission want to introduce, the Innes family would find themselves able to, to, to milk the animals that they have and, and it would normally go into the food chain, provided of course the UK Food Standards Agency came into line with the new rules and indeed the current rules uh, in the European uh, Commission's view. Do you think this could in any way have an impact on the Innes case? Do you think it could help to, for example, spark some kind of U-turn from the Food Standards Agency? Well, it's clear the uh, UK Food Standards Agency is out of line with the rest of the member states and how it interprets the current rules. And of course, under these new rules, it still is out of line. So hopefully they will come to their senses and see that they do have to move on this issue and bring ourselves into line with the rest of the member states on how you interpret the current rules. And I would want to see that happen uh, as soon as possible. And is this something that you might raise with the Commissioner, do you think? I certainly will raise once again the problem we have in the UK with the Food Standards Agency there being out of line with other member states and the need to ensure that the Commissioner working behind the scenes to try and ensure and encourage the, the Food Standards Agency to come into line with other member states.